I'm not too sure what this says about me personally on a psychological level. I'm always interested in that sort of thing. But I am really, really good at saving. Saving money. I mean, like, I will trim the fat off of my spending. I will cut things out altogether. I will cut things back. I'll do a lot of things myself if it means saving money. One of the hardest things, actually, has just been, like, making my own coffee vice, going somewhere and getting one. Because there's a lovely social interaction that you get when you go in and order a coffee. And there's just not too many specific things. Don't give them a laundry list, like, one or two things, like, no milk, yes to the vanilla, bam, done, good, we're out. You get that little social exchange, and it gets you in front of people and talking and reminds you that you're still a human, which is nice. But do you have to do it all the time? You don't need to do it at all. You can make one at home for far less. And if you got a massive tin, look, I'm already giving you saving tips. That's not what the point of this video was. This kind of talent and skill, I guess it's both, bleeds right into gaming. Because, well, let's see, the ones I'll use as examples, they're all Bethesda games. In Elder Scrolls, in Fallout, one of the things I find that happens effortlessly and really fast is I'll have a lot of money really quickly. And I'm not talking about like manipulating um, any sort of game glitch or system to make money. Like, for example, in Morrowind, there was this whole thing you can do in Balmora where you could just trade certain alchemic ingredients back and forth with one of the shopkeeps. Uh, and when you gave them back to her, they would double each time. So you could have a crap ton of, I think it was like fish cuddle and scales and together they made a water breathing potion and you could just keep trading her the raw ingredients back and forth because they would double each time she got them. Then you'd have a crap ton of them. They're super cheap. You're increasing your bartering skill. And then when you use and make potions, your alchemy skills going through the roof, wash, rinse, repeat, sell money for days. Not like that. Although if you ever do play Morrowind, there's a free tip for you to make a crap ton of coin with very little effort. But in a practical, non-game glitching kind of way. I'm, I'm just, I'm good at it. Saving it, spending it, bartering with it, trading items to offset cost, uh, going without things to the point that the game becomes more difficult just so I save money. A lot of the times it's unintentional, and a lot of the times it is without thought. I don't need to think about it, it just happens. Perfect example was when I was playing, now let me see, Fallout 4. Now, Fallout 4, the bartering's a little bit different than other games. If I'm reading it right, which, I mean, this was my feeling, things were a lot more expensive and worth a whole lot less unless you actually invested skill points into the barter perk from the Charisma Tree. It just didn't work out all that well. You'd be selling a gun that on paper should be worth, let's say, 60 caps. And if you had a average Charisma, like, let's say, I don't know, 3 maybe four, and nothing in any sort of perk that offset your ability to sell, and you weren't using any sort of, like, chems or beer or wearing an outfit that boosted your charisma, that gun might go for, eh, five, eight, maybe ten caps. It depends. But it didn't sell anywhere near what it was worth. Like, not even half, not even close. In spite of all that... And without any perk that helped me get more caps in the luck tree, you know, the one I'm talking about, I would just end up with a lot of money. Like, I, I had 10,000 caps before I had hit level, geez, I think I had 10,000 caps before I had hit level 13, or maybe it was 14, but it was fairly early on, because you, you go skyrocketing past 10 pretty quickly in Fallout 4. In Morrowind, same kind of thing. Before I knew it, I had, like... 30,000 gold, and I didn't even know what to do with it because I just don't spend that much. I think the only thing I really bought when I played Morrowind was, ah, oh, geez, let me see. Maybe I would pay for the odd. No, actually, I didn't even pay for the bed. I just, I think I just took a house. <laughs> just took it, took somebody's bed. They were there and everything. It's like, ah, hey, you're manning the front desk. I got this. You don't need to sleep. Keep working. Grind away. Apart from, like, I was going to say, maybe the odd in... Oh, I know where I spent my money there. <laughs> I spent it on lockpicks and um, training because you could go to different people. You go to different people for training regardless, but if you were with a faction, you could go to certain trainers and for a discount price improve a skill. I think it only went so far and it got more and more expensive as you went along, but I mean, you know, 
a skill's a skill. And the better you are, you know, the better everything is. And the easiest one to up is always acrobatics because you just jump like an idiot everywhere you go, fall from high heights, hurt yourself, up goes acrobatics. Because that's how you become an acrobat. Break your shins constantly. And eventually you'll be able to jump as high as Spider-Man. At least in the world of Elder Scrolls. But getting back to it, I, I, like, I found it's something that correlates into other games too. If I'm playing a game like The Guild, The Guild 2, or, uh, oh geez, I, I had it on the tip of my tongue, The Mountain Blade series. Again, just really good at making money, saving money, and then the thing I love so much about Mountain Blade Warband is investing it into productive enterprises, which reminds me I should... I have worked on that game a little bit more to improve the character so that you guys don't have to see me just schlupping it through beating the crap out of peasants because, you know, no matter where you stand on that in terms of a medieval moral ethical code, kicking the crap out of peasants is a really easy way to improve skills and get money. Plus, they're peasants. Who are they going to complain to? They're lords? Ha! I already kicked their asses. There's nobody to help them. Makes me sound like a real tyrant, which, in Mountain Blade, I am. But I am a fiscal tyrant and a frugal one, too. I'm trying to think of other areas where that kind of like bleeds in and just happens without me really intending it to. Grand Theft Auto would be another series where that happens again. I just, I don't find myself buying the weapons that much. I'll use what I find. I'm very much, you know what? I think I'm a scavenger. <laughs> I'm very much a scavenger in all these games. Even though like Fallout, you're a scavenger by default. That just, yeah, how else do you get your things? I mean, you could buy them, but I don't know. I just, I scrounge up a lot of my things. I barely purchase anything. And everything that I do find, I sell or I use to make something else that I sell. Yeah. Okay. So, learn something new about myself there. I am very much somebody who will take the things around him and use them rather than buy something just for the sake of. And I will save like a mother. Which is honestly a really good thing in practical application. In real life, saving is an important skill. One that... Many people could probably stand to do better at, but you know what? Sometimes it's life, sometimes it's circumstance, and sometimes it's a lack of willpower and self-control. Whatever the case may be, I think it's an awesome skill to have, and certainly when you're playing a game where money can be infinitely useful, especially when you're, well, I, okay, I take that back. Back up for a second. I also use it for bribing people in all of these games, because when your charisma is not that great, Money talks. It always does. It always will. So, yeah, I guess the aside of this was more to highlight something that I found I'm very, very good at in all aspects of my life. Largely in gaming, because I play a lot of games where currency is a very important thing. And I love that. I really do. It's, it's, it's a fun little resource that is easily overlooked, but infinitely useful. Again, like in life. Money is something that can be easily cast aside in terms of thinking on it critically, but it is an important thing to address, and saving is an important skill to have and to master. Huh. Yeah. I guess that was a little bit more of a rant, and I think it was a little bit of patting myself on the back, too, but it, it was a subject that I thought would make for, at the very least, an entertaining listen, and I hope it was. So, until next time, my name's Rye. You guys take care of yourselves.